Welcome back rogues to another division video and I wanted to talk to you guys today about the medical wing and all the best perks you can choose across the medical wing, security wing and tech wing at the start. So once you unlock your wings etc you get better perks talents unlocked from the game. Now the first three that I'm going to talk about in each wing, one for each wing, is free. You can't avoid buying this. Now this clinic gives you increased medkit inventory by one slot that's a great perk to have but it also gives you the skill of healing or allies so you get to heal your allies in such things so what i wanted to talk about though is the where is it yeah this one here the intensive care this will also increase your med kit inventory by one slot which is always a good thing to have and then you can go down to pediatric care, which will increase your medkit inventory by one slot again. So that is probably going to be one of the first ones you unlock to get that extra medkit. So you can have, I think it's five in total at the end. But also a great perk is this one here, the counselling. And I would open this first because the missions you're going to be doing, you can increase your credit gains by 10%. So definitely would go counselling, pediatric care, and then intensive care. Now for the tech wing, there isn't many perks that you want as a start perk. This is for more like end game stuff, I feel. So the control room, you can't avoid getting, but you do get an increased inventory by 10 slots. I would also then go through and get the satcoms, which reveals all division tech crafting nodes on the dark zone map. So when you're in the PVP area, you can go and find these stuff, which you'll need at the end game. So definitely worth looking into. Next, I would go and find the Dark Zone funds one. I can't remember where that is, but let's have a quick look through. Is it? Yeah, the Recharge Center. So, increased looted Dark Zone fund gains by 10%. Dark Zone funds are going to come in very useful for buying those high-end weapons. So, I would definitely buy the Satcoms and the Recharge Center. Everything else, you know, you can just look through. Have a look what you feel is best for you and your character. But I'm definitely going to save those for end game or at least... Concentrate on security and medical first. So security has a lot of good perks to start off with. Now the actual first one that you can't avoid is increasing your XP gain by 10%. So it's definitely worth getting the security wing done straight away. The first one I bought was the guard posts which increase the incendiary, incendiary bullets effect for 10 seconds which means they burn for longer and take more damage. But also you get an extra perk which collects incendiary and explosive bullets from the guard post once per hour. So this place where you are now, you can come here and pick up ammo to use to gain the benefits of the other perk that you see. I would also look into K9 unit, which is Intel Discovery. So when completing all side missions and encounters in a named zone, it will reveal all the intel nearby on the map, making it easy for you to find, get, add to your collection, gain XP, gain appearance, looks and such things. The shooting range is also going to be useful because you can train in your marksmanship. And probably the only other one worth getting right near the start is the armory, which increases your grenade inventory by one slot. And you unlock advanced weapons vendor in the security wing. So you can come to security wing and buy better weapons. So that for me is the perks that I'm going to be unlocking first. And the things that I feel are most useful at the start of the game. Let me know if you think I'm wrong or you have different perks in mind for what your character is going to do. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the division so far. I wish I could say that. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you wish to. And I will see you in the next video. Yeah.